for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip out the man shoes as always. Got an explosive series of offensive plays for you guys today. Today I'm be showing you guys a new offense that might be my favorite offense in the game out of the New Orleans Saints playbook. The New Orleans Saints playbook it might be my favorite ebook that I put out. It might be the, my favorite offense that I'm using right now. It's between them and the Ravens. And they're not even the bigger playbooks. The bigger playbooks are the Niners and the Raiders, uh, all the four that I put out. Those are the two bigger ones, but I just love some of the schemes that I'm finding in the Saints. The more I use this, the more explosive I'm finding out that this offense is. Uh, I put out some run plays from this formation yesterday. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check that out. Other than that, if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense, all the run plays, all the pass plays in one single video uh, on like a Saturday or something that I typically like to put out over the weekend, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, I'll do that next. Other than that, the formation is the wing flex. This particular formation here has a great series of run plays. Uh, I think I might like that as much as the pass plays, but the pass plays I'm going to show you guys... Um, especially the two on this page are some of the glitchiest pass plays in the game. The PAY cross especially is a one-play touchdown against every single defense in the game, and that's going to be the uh, the play that we start off with. There's really only two pass plays I'm going to show today. It's going to be that and the mesh spot, but let's go ahead and start off with the PA cross because, like I said, this play here is super glitchy. We're going to start off picking Tampa 2, and we're going to work our way back. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and use this Discount code money to get 3% off. It's always the cheapest coins on the market. One of the best things about this play is there's not a lot of setup. You just have to put the A route on a five yard out. That's it. That's all you got to do. Everything else is already set up. You can block your running back if you want to, although I like to leave him there as a check down. I want to slide my protection because these check and releases a lot of times kind of mess everything up. But you're going to see right here, I mean, this guy here, once he gets inside of the safety, he's pretty much just gone for an easy one play touchdown. Like you can see right there, I kind of got my shoestrings caught up. I'll do that one more time. Like I said, we're keeping Tyron lit up. Just to show you guys that it don't matter. And we're going right over the top. Like I said, he's best safety in the game, lit up. You know, he's going to keep up a little bit better than most. Now, the out route's probably most important when it comes to cover three, but you could also put him on a delay fade. The delay fade, I find, works even better. Just as long as that A route doesn't get out of his break too early, you're going to see you get much bigger separation with the delay fade. So the five-yard out route is one variation. The delay fade is another. That's also going to be the variation that works against cover two man. So it's pretty much the same idea, but we'll pick cover two man. When it comes to running this play and running the delay fade, you want your slowest guy running that. I don't want Andrews running that because he's kind of fast. He'll get up the field too quick and he'll essentially... Um, you know, basically get to the point where, where that uh, that safety is getting pulled back. I want him to basically play down. So the slower the better. The delay fade stays home just for a second, and then you can see once he starts getting up the field, I'm already past it with uh, with the uh, you know with Brown. Now that was actually like I said, that was that was the type of reaction that I didn't want. In the substitutions, I'd rather switch Nick Boyle and Andrews out. But you can run it like this too, where essentially you just basically let Boyle um, you know slow that safety down because that's what's keeping that safety down is that delay fade, that delayed reaction is what's keeping that safety down and letting Brown get over the top of it. So there's a couple of different ways to do that. You could either use your, just put your slower one on the delay fade out here, which obviously starts further back, so it's going to help also. Or you could just have your slower tight end or just, you know, fullback or something in at this spot and delay fade him. It really doesn't matter. I find, though, this might be a better setup based off the fact that he you can see just the safety's playing down way too low based off the fact that he only sees that safety on his side of the, or that uh, tight end on his side of the field. And then Brown just gets right past them. So I'm going to do that one more time. I guess I'll slide my protection, let that slow tight end be the bait. And then, like I said, boom, we're just getting a huge one play touchdown right over the top very easily against pretty much any defense in the game. So now we'll do that against cover three, because this is the one that's probably, you know, giving people most issues right now is cover three. And this is the same way, the delay fade or the five yard out. It's really up to you. I'll go with the delay fade. Like I said, that'll hold that cornerback down. And then, for whatever reason, that cornerback never flips his hip, and you can see he gets right past him. So, once again, you can do it both ways. I'll show it with the five-yard out. I said the five-yard out works also because the five-yard out really is just meant to pull that cornerback ac across. And then, obviously, I'm going to roll in the direction of the throw. And if you got a fast enough wide out, he gets behind it as well once again. So it's really up to you. Delay fade or five yard out. Now, obviously, against man cover one or man zero, I don't really have to do anything. Like the A route here, he just totally whiffed. Like that's a really good, uh, you know, man coverage 
route. I don't want to get rid of that. And then you can see, obviously, you know, the B route here is just going to be, as long as I get a good enough pass lead away from the safety, I mean, that's going to be very easy when I play touchdown against cover one. Same thing with man zero. I mean, any all-out man blitz is going to have the same success. I just have to basically make enough blocking uh, by blocking the running back, maybe blocking the RB route. If it's a man zero, I don't want to get rid of the A route or the B route because they're going to be the big plays. But there's a lot of different things you can do against man coverages. Against cover four quarters, it doesn't need any adjustments either. I'm just going to win the day just as long as this B route here doesn't get jammed up too much. As you can see, he just gets behind the... Uh, the safety, although there, the pressure is the biggest issue. Like I said, once again, I can take away my, my check and release just to give myself a little additional blocking because the B route here is just going to, uh, you know, that's that's the only route. So, you know, very easy one-play touchdown against cover four with no adjustments. And then we pretty much hit up every single defense other than regular cover four. So we'll go and do that. Regular cover four drop contain. We'll do that five yard out route adjustment one more time. Like I said, that's just going to keep these uh, corners and safeties down nice and low. And then we're just going to bomb it up over the top as you can see right there the safety is just out of position lit up doesn't matter so that's every single defense in the game but it gets even glitchier as this play also has a one play touchdown against prevent defenses so let's go ahead and let's pick that play one more time then on the defensive side we're going to start off with prevent man three deep which to me is probably the preferred one that's the one that i typically use so let's go let's pick that so we're gonna do this the exact same way it works the exact same way whether you delay fade or put this guy on an out route it doesn't matter you're gonna get the exact same result just as long as you get a good enough release from this uh, receiver like i said it's not a huge window but you can see you get a one play touchdown we'll do it one more time with the delay fade option as well i got a lineman in there just to slow him down as much as possible uh, but ultimately, I mean, it doesn't really, you know, we get a tight window throw here, but you're beating a prevent defense. So you can't expect it to glitch it out much more than that. So the throw is probably the most important part. I am bullet and pass leading up and away from the free safety when I make this throw. As you can see, I mean, he has a step. I mean, he already has a step. That's the bottom line. But it's it's really a tight window throw to bullet and pass lead to this spot. And like I said, you're going to need a definite speed advantage as well. Now, that play is glitchy enough, but there's also a really glitchy one play touchdown against cover three that I want to show, and that's the mesh spot. This play here, obviously, a double drag is going to be good against man coverage, but this is a very glitchy post-patch cover three one play touchdown. So let's go and let's pick cover three. We're going to use that exact same delay fade principle. We're just going to motion out this running back and put the RB route on a delay fade once again. Now, watch what happens to that running back, especially if I run to the open side of the field like I am now. The uh, the cornerback just bails on him. He completely forgets that he's out there. Let's go to the replay there. I actually showed this in a verticals, a gun bunch verticals play not too long ago, where essentially this cornerback will essentially forget that he's supposed to cover this outside spot here. And you can see, I mean, he just bails. He just bails from his assignment. It's just something that, you know, this new delay fade is just super glitchy. So you can see right here, once he leaves, all I got to do is bullet and pass lead inside because the sideline became a bigger issue. I find this plays even better if you streak the B route. Because sometimes, for whatever reason, uh, the cornerback doesn't react to the Y route. But if you streak that B route, it's a guaranteed reaction. You can see right there, we're just basically waiting for that cornerback to bail. And we're just bombing it over over top to the running back. Like I said, the biggest issue is pass pro. Pass pro is the biggest issue, but I mean it's a super glitchy one play touchdown. So what are you gonna do? But you're just watching this uh, this cornerback, and I like to roll in the direction of the throw. I really think that that helps. Like I said pass lead inbounds, so that you're not running out of bounds um, when you catch the ball. But ultimately a very easy play. That also works against cover two. So we're going to pick Tampa two. It's gonna work the exact same way. I'm going to put my B route on a streak. So I'm just going to roll out. And that Y route is, you know, I don't have to wait for the cornerback to react or anything like that because the Y route just gets out open outside. So cover two, cover three is a very explosive play. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos, say like a whole breakdown of this entire offense, which to me is one of the, my, my more favorite offenses right now, hit the like button let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.